Hi this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to another tutorial on Java programming language. So in the previous tutorial we have learned about the Java primitive types and then about the Java reference types and also we have learned how the Java primitive and the Java reference types and the variables are going to differ. So here in this tutorial we're going to learn about the default values that are going to be stored in the Java types whenever we're going to use them as the class properties. So here for the demonstration purpose I have created this tutorial class in my uh, oops package and I have this main method inside this tutorial class and also I have another class called student inside this oops package. Now in our student class as I told you before we can have the class properties. So here we can have the Java primitive types or you know we can have the Java reference types. So here first we're gonna create a property of Java reference type and all of you know that the string is the Java reference type. So here let me call uh, name. Now this name is gonna be the variable from the Java reference type string and then we're gonna have a let's say uh, roll number which is going to be the java primitive type variable you know integers and then we're going to have a character variable you know which is also the java primitive type and uh, let's say sex and then we're going to have one last primitive type and uh, it's going to be of boolean type and let me say uh, has girlfriend has gf okay now here in this student class we have four properties one is the java reference type which is this string name and then we have three other java primitive types now whenever we're gonna have the java types as the class properties when you create an object from this class at that time these properties are gonna contain their default values if you don't initialize them so here uh, before explaining anything I just gonna create a method and it's gonna be void and let me call it as display and by using this method we're just gonna print out the values of all these properties so I'm gonna use the print line method so it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and then here I'm gonna say name is and then I'm gonna append the name and then I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it three more times and here we're gonna say uh, roll number is then I'm gonna append roll number here so it's gonna be roll number and then we're gonna say sex is then we're gonna append sex and then in the end we're gonna say has girlfriend is then we're gonna refer has gf property all right okay now we have this class student and we have these properties now here we haven't initialized these class properties now if i create an object from the student class here in my tutorial class i'm gonna create an object let's say student and uh, let me call it as anil equal to new student and now we haven't initialized any of the properties of this anil object you know this name roll number sex or has gf now by default when you have the class properties they're gonna be initialized to some default values if you don't initialize them so uh, here for the java reference types the default value is gonna be null and for the numeric types you know these integers are also the numeric types the default value is gonna be zero and for this character type you know the default value is gonna be nothing you know there will not be any character and it is denoted by this slash u and uh, then uh, three zeros and then for this boolean type the default value is gonna be false now here from this tutorial class if i call the display method without initializing any of these class properties then uh, it's gonna be anil dot display and if i run this program 
you guys can see here name is null here this name property is of java reference type and we haven't initialized this name property and because of that it's gonna contain the default value of null and then this int roll number this roll number is of numeric type and uh, we haven't initialized this and that's why it's gonna contain a value of zero and for this character sex we haven't initialized and that's why it's gonna contain no character at all you know which is denoted by uh, slash u then uh, three zeros and then for this boolean property contain the default value as false so when you create a class with the properties and if you don't initialize that class properties then when you create an object from that class that properties are going to contain some default values here if we initialize this name variable or roll number or any of these properties here then they're going to contain whatever the value we initialize if we don't initialize then they're going to contain the default values so just remember that for uh, the reference types it's going to be null and for primitive types it's going to be the respected values that uh, i had said before so now another thing that i want you guys to teach you is here the default value will be assigned only for the class properties for example here if we have the local variables inside this display method then if we don't initialize them then you will get error what it means is when you have the local variables inside the methods at that time if we don't initialize them there will not be any default value assigned by java we have to initialize that variable before using it now just to demonstrate that i'm going to create a method here and let me call it as uh, display again you know just the method name just for the demonstration purpose and here let's create a string type you know the java reference type and let's say f name for our first name and we're not going to initialize this this f name is going to be the local variable which is declared inside this display again method then we're going to have a java primitive type for example let's say of integer type and let's say it's going to be a number you know any variable and now if i try to access these variables without initializing them then i'll get error so just to demonstrate that i'm going to use the print line statement here so it's going to be system dot out dot print line and uh, let's access f name and then uh, we'll try to access num now you guys can see we get error here if i are on that it says the local variable f name may not have been initialized if i try to run it then you guys can see the eclipse says error in the workspace or you know error in the project so here the main thing to note is when we have the class properties at that time if we don't initialize them then while creating an object from that class you know that class properties are gonna be initialized to some default values automatically by java and if we have some local variables in the methods and if we don't initialize them before using them then you'll get error java is not gonna initialize the local variables which are declared inside the methods java is gonna only initialize the class properties so they may be of any type here you know we have the java reference type and then the java primitive types the main thing is where they are created you know whether they are the class properties or you know whether they are uh, declared inside the methods so uh, this is it guys this is about the default values assigned to the the java reference and primitive types of variables and uh, you know what happens whenever we're going to use them inside the methods so thank you for watching guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have any doubt or any suggestion don't hesitate to tell us and you guys can get the source code of this tutorial in my website learninglad.com and also you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learninglad and if you guys think that you know you guys have learned something from these tutorials then please share them with your friends and help us to reach more people and i'll see you in the next tutorial